Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships Legends with the Hive Hand and with the recent update and having three new Bureau Project ships come out it kind of dawned on me and I realised that yes I've obviously like pretty much completed every single Bureau Project there is but there is a lot of new players out there so I just wanted to sort of maybe provide a little help and advice when navigating around the uh, the Bureau itself right okay so first of all here is the bureau you you can have one active project as you can see if you look on my active project screen <laughs> the tab in the corner it shows me having the henry and the christoph low colombo currently running um it's only uh, there's currently four that i have available obviously there's the holland which is the other new one released this update and then we have the hikuru which uh, to be honest with you i'm not overly interested in but that's by the by. Anyway, <laughs> right, okay. So, um, how do bureau projects work, I guess, and and what ships? What ships do you uh, do you actually want to uh, want to take the time and effort to uh, to grind? So, first of all, let's have a look at the Henry. Uh, right, okay. So, oh, I have uh, entered into a new section. So, basically, I have a base base research point of three um, per second. Uh, your uh, your commanders can uh, give you an additional eight. Now there are some restrictions depending on what tier, what tier of the project is of what level your commanders are. So, for example, maybe if we maybe if we if we view a segment a little bit further ahead, come on, view segment. So if we look, the patrons here, um, mine are. At all at the level required but it, you will have them where it'll they'll be grayed out if they're grayed out you don't have the requirements you need to promote your commander slightly so these are some things to take into consideration obviously there's the boats you get four for the premium ship and three for the standard ships and then you have your daily trials where you can select you know several ships um and and boost your uh boost your trials so if we let's let's jump over to the Christoffel Colombo so if we view the segment uh, of I've got two premium ships that is uh, that's giving me eight per second I've got the commanders which give me eight per second plus three and in four hours we are actually going to complete this uh, uh, this stage of the segment um, once uh, the commanders the ships and the boosters, uh, which are the d the daily trials here, they don't change per segment. So once you've got the correct ones for a segment, that's fine. You can carry on. One thing to note, particularly with the newer projects, uh, is they have specific locked segments. So you have to have the Carcachulio or the Colombo project. You also have to have the Veneto and oh, went too far you also have to have the Lepanto so you have to have grinded or have to be at least grinding to the tier 8 in preparation to take on a ship like a Christoph or Lumbo now if you're newer to the game and you don't have um, you know a lot of higher tier ships um, there are other Bureau projects that you can work towards so for example the Yamato which was one of the first these do not have any of the special like you must have a particular ship to unlock you know yes you will get the bonuses from the patrons your fleet and your daily trials but you don't have to have any specific ships to complete the Yamato uh, same goes for the Ghost of Kerr first the, the Shimakaze I believe the Des Moines is the same, yes. Alaska, Alaska's the same. Conqueror is the same. Girin, Worcester, I think the Montana. Yeah, the Montana is also the same. Uh, there are... Uh, uh, the See, so like the Begon. Yes, the Begon does have um, ship-specific... Um, segments you can tell that they're ship specific segments because they have the sort of larger diamond around them 
Um, another tip, if you're trying, if, and I mean really trying to boost your project as fast as you can. Um, so for example, uh, we've got the Henry and the Clo uh, and the Columbo currently being researched. Uh, say I want to start making pro progress on my my ho Holland. Um, so you know what? We we'll actually do it. We'll actually do it live. Uh, we'll put the Henry to one side. Literally, uh, it's, it's well. I dare suppose if you're going to be playing for 15 minutes, the seconds will count. Uh, so we'll quickly throw whatever ships you have on there. Tier 5, Libius Renitus, uh, so what I can do, and we will, you know what, we will, we will actually do it, I'll cut the games myself um, out of this, we're just going to run them in AI quickly, so if you hold down your ship filters, on your ship filters, if you go across to this blue diamond shape here, uh, so I've got unlegendary tier. Unlock that. This will show you all the ships that you can complete a segment with. So, okay, granted, there's 161 ships. That's because on my Columbo, I have a tier 6 uh, project. So basically, I just need to get a win in a tier 6. And on the, uh, on the uh, Holland, we've got a tier 5. Um, so what we'll do, we'll take the Arizona into an AI battle quickly. And uh, what we'll do, we'll come back at the results screen and then you'll see the stages as they're completed. Actually, what I might do, I'll, I'll complete the three ships and uh, and we'll pop back in. You can see the progress then on the Howland and then we'll swap it back to the Henry. And uh, yeah, see you in just a few minutes right okay so we are back for a quick small update so i have got a win in a tier 5 and a tier 6 the tier 6 is in line with the Columbo project and as you can see my ship availability has reduced so it's actually on the Columbo. i've got the acasta acasta or acasta b which means both those ships are currently available a win in either of those will remove both of them from this list uh the devonshire is the Columbo project and there's the visby and the Vibatus Unitus uh, from the uh, the Halland project. So we'll get these cleared up. We'll jump back into the bureau, and uh, once we're in the bureau, then we will uh, we will explain a little bit more. So we will be right back again. Right, okay. So there we go. We've got a whole bunch of the bureau projects uh, done. I haven't done the Duca de Costa because I have a feeling. Henry requires a win in a tier 5 so what we can do is we can complete the bureau for the two projects at the same time so what we're going to do now is uh, jump back to our bureau uh, let's have a look at the Haaland right okay so as you can see the Haaland we now have um, 385,000 um, research points with of progress 325 of that is from the project uh, from the, the daily trials uh, the rest is just what we've what we've gained uh, during that time. So what we're going to do, we're going to repla replace the Halland uh, with the uh, the Henry again, because the the Henry Henry's the one I want. I don't really want the Halland. I do want the Halland eventually, but it's not my uh, it's not my uh, it's not my main focus. Uh, so as you can see, ah, oh, of course tier six ships why right, okay so there is no uh, <laughs> there's duplication uh, between the Henry and the Columbo so I should have done the tier sixes together with the Columbo but but that's fine that's okay uh, we can uh, we can deal with that why right, okay so we've assigned the trials back to the Henry and as you can see we can still do the Henry trials um, and where's my where's my Columbo uh, and as you can see, we've we've made progress with the Columbo. Uh, we can once we've completed the Duca de Costa task. Uh, unfortunately, what would be nice is if you could switch and cheekily take that as well. Um, but unfortunately, they have actually locked that. That would have been that would be nice, giving us an extra little bit of research points um, available. Uh, one thing I suppose I should probably cover it whilst we are in the bureau. Uh, let's have a look at um, breakthrough. 
Right, okay, so there's two ways you can break through a project. You can apply a breakthrough through doubloons, uh, or you can apply a breakthrough through research points. So segment limit, as you can see, is 4 million. Uh, it, uh, so it's the same whether you're using breakthrough points from the campaign uh, or whether you're doing it through cash. So 40%, so basically, out of the five stages in a segment you can you can boost you can completely skip two of them either through breakthrough uh th with doubloons or breakthrough with research points i'll show you for example that as you can see we skipped a whole bunch of progress uh used all my points i don't have any research points available so if i want to complete this segment within this uh, this stage within this segment there we go cost me 120 doubloons uh, it's going to cost me 2,000 doubloons to complete this segment. As you can see, se uh, segment stage or stage two will receive, and that'll, if you sit there and watch it, it will actually slowly go down. But there's a total limit of 4,000, so the 2,000 odd I can't spend here, uh, I can spend on the next stage. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, another little bit of information. So... Uh, when we go back, there is, you can sort of min-max your time. Uh, this is going to take me about 45 minutes in total. But now, as you can see, because there's tier 6. So if I didn't switch to the Har Harland, if I played the tier 6, the tier 6 would have gone for both the Columbo and the Henry. Uh, and if I had, I made this mistake, but if I had of just played the Duca de Costa, one of my AR battles when we had the Holland on that would have counted for the Holland and for the Henry at the same time so you can double up on these and and save yourself a couple of minutes um so that is something uh worthy of note so I am because it's just the way I am <laughs> I've started it so I'm going to finish it I'm going to finish my uh my, my daily trials for the bureau project and then what we're going to do we're going to jump back and we're going to have a quick look and a quick chat about the legendary tier ships available and uh, i'll give them a grade in and sort of let you uh, let you know at least my opinion on uh, on what ships are actually worth the grind and what aren't so we shall see you in two shakes of a lamb's tail right okay so we're going to talk about we're going to Basically, um, this is the like the fifth time I've recorded this because this generally takes so long. I'm literally just going to grade these ships tier-wise. And I'm just going to tell you which ones you should go for first. The, the, the best three battleships, best three cruisers, best three destroyers at legendary tier. Um, the rest are just grind out once you've got the main three for each class. So... By far the best hands down destroyer by a significant margin at legendary tier is the Daring. S, S class all the way. The next two would be the Gearin and the Club Airs picks. I'd give them A class uh, tier cruiser uh, destroyers. They're extremely good at what they do. They're very, <laughs> they both have their utility. Club Air has the uh, uh, reload booster. Gearin has uh, the long-range torps, making them very good. Shimikaze is a one-trick pony. Cab is a one-trick pony. Halland's a one-trick pony. So there, if you've got Daring, Clubair, Gearin, then maybe go into the single one-trick pony ships. But yeah, those are the three that you want to get. They are by far the best out of the tier. Um, the best honestly th this one is actually the hardest one to to choose from because there are so many good cruisers but i'm gonna have to give des moines the top spot I'm gonna have to say des moines is by is the best cruiser not by a huge margin it is s tier uh it has the radar it has the the fire rate um it has decent armor yeah s tier it's joined in s tier by minotaur which can stealth radar if you have radar equipped or if you're running smoke and you catch multiple ships broadside the amount of damage you can put out is absolutely insane uh, that is another S tier and 
honestly, uh, the third spot is really tight between the Worcester because its DPM is insane and the Yushino. I think the Yushino has slightly, the, the Yushino wins it because it's got slightly better overall armor. Um, its guns are fantastic. Plus it has those huge 20 kilometer aerodynals torps. They are by far the best. Yeah, they are. That That's my pick for tier three. Uh, for, for my three S tiers, you've got Des Moines, Minotaur, and Yoshino, all S tier ships. Like, they are by far the best. Um, Worcester and Alaska, uh, A tier. Clabert is going to be B tier because it requires everyone else to help it out. Stalingrad is D. Um, like, it's, it's useless. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, Napoli is going to be a C tier. Uh, Henry, Henry is going to be an A tier ship. Henry's very good. But yeah, so Des Moines, Minotaur, Yoshino. Then you probably want to look at the the Henry, uh, uh, Worcester, and Alaska, and then the, the other ships. Just once you have everything else. Oh, didn't mean to press that. And then we're going to go on to our legendary battleships. Right. Okay. So. Uh, I think there are only two S tier ships. That's Conqueror and Columbo. Uh, Conqueror just has this, the HE and the AP. Like the HE can do damage from any angle. You catch something broadside with the AP on an accuracy built. Um, Conqueror, they're, they're gonna die. You've got the super heals. So as long as you're smart and you're not trying to 1v1 Yamatos, um, Conqueror is just amazing. Uh, Columbo has the heaviest broadside in the game because it's got 15 inch guns, but 16 of them. Uh, it can actually utilize smoke screen and uh, fire undetected up to 10.9 kilometers. So it's actually something you can use. Um, you can also use it to close in on the enemies and you get within, you get within 10 kilometers of anything else just by sheer volume of guns. Um, if you catch them broadside, they're dead. If they angle well, just aim up in the superstructure. You're going to hit them with 16 shells, which means you're going to do significantly more damage. It's citadels below the waterline, so getting huge damage in return is less of an issue. And honestly, at the time of making this, I'm making this in September 20, <laughs> 2023 when this ship first came, first came out. Um, honestly, I can see this thing probably getting nerfed in the future. Uh, they are S tier. Uh, a tier, honestly, um, Yamato. Yamato is probably my third pick. Uh, it's the only one uh, that's going to be... Actually, Yamato and Bogon are going to be A tiers. Uh, Yamato's... <sighs> it's one trick pony. It's one trick is it can point its bow, bounce everything else other than itself, and overmatch everything else, uh, <laughs> including itself. Um... But it's one trick pony ness stops it from getting up into that upper echelons uh, that the Columbo and uh, the Conqueror are going to sit at. Um, so, yeah, but gone uh, again. Um, not so much a one trick pony, it's HE's pretty good. Uh, it's very fast, it's very maneuverable. You get this thing on a flank with its improved pen angles, it's going to make everyone really upset really fast. Um, it does struggle a little bit with the current meta of everyone just pointing at each other, bowing and shooting at each other from 19 bloody kilometers away. So if you use it properly, you push a flank and you get around the sides of the ships, you, yeah, you, you, you're going to cause a, a lot of upset, especially with that reload booster as well. Um, so there's four. There's four I would go for. First two to go for are Columbo and Conqueror, Yamato and Bogon and everything else just as and when. Um, Montana is uh, honestly it's C class. Uh, it, it, it just doesn't sit well at the tier. It doesn't do it's not the best at anything. It tries to be a bit of a jack of all trades but it can't flank as well as the Bogon. Uh, bow tanking its DPM is just not good enough to really take anything on. Uh, if you get close enough into brawling ranges, the Germans are just going to absolutely tear it apart. Uh, yeah, it's it's 
terrible. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grant that D tier, and the two Germans are gonna be in C tier. Uh, actually, Kurfus is B, Schlieffen is C. Um, uh, Schlieffen is is very fun to use, but just in it just doesn't sit well in the current meta, where you can't push in because it's got weak armor. Whereas Clumbo, I know the Clumbo needs to push in, but the Clumbo you can actually push in because it has the rule and smoke and it has the armor to be able to do it. But don't build Clumbo for secondaries because that's just stupid. Focus on those main guns because they are oh, chef's kiss. They're just brilliant. Right, okay, <laughs> that's me done. Very brief run done. If you want more details of any of the ships, drop a comment below. I'm quite happy to chat with you as well if you think my ratings are wrong, and uh, and maybe we'll revisit this uh, this video again in the future. But all that bombshell. Until next time. Take care.